Hi guys and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Um, I'm pretty anxious because obviously this is my first time talking to somebody on camera. I've never done this before. I have uploaded videos before to YouTube but I end up deleting them and now I want to be serious about it. So I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Catherine and I am a beauty blogger on Instagram. Uh, I will probably link it in the description box so follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of stuff there and over here what I plan to do is I plan to do a lot of beauty content. I also plan to do a lot of lifestyle related content so well, today I thought since I'm all this since this is going to be a beauty account I thought why not show you guys my routine while talking to you about this YouTube video. So first, I'm gonna prep and prime my skin so that I do that with my skincare. I don't have a primer. I do actually. I just got it recently and gifted from this brand called Lila B. But that is besides the point. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna be showing you guys what I do before my makeup or what I do every morning. And then how I do my makeup, I'm going to talk you through my life right now. So I'm going to start with, look at how huge this is. This is so big. But yeah, I want this in a giveaway from this um, website called Beauty Barn, India. They're amazing. They sell really, they sell Korean products um, that you usually don't get on other websites like Nika. And I think that they're amazing, so thank you for choosing me as your winner. I'm just going to use a little bit of this to prep my skin. It's kind of like a toner. After this, I will go directly in with my moisturizer. This is a Korean brand called Bellflower and they're pretty cute. Also, this is my new favorite drugstore sunscreen. It is pretty cheap. I get it from, so I'm in Bangalore, so I get it from Health and Glow. And it's just 500 Indian rupees. It's amazing. Just look at how watery it is. So this YouTube channel is going to be about skincare. So I'm obviously going to be reviewing stuff doing hauls if I have money <laughs> um, uh, lifestyle things like what I eat in a week because I feel like YouTube is just so saturated with content as such but like they're so inaccessible in India and I've been struggling to find you know cheaper alternatives to whatever I see to what I see beauty bloggers using on YouTube so I think maybe that can help you guys I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Color Bar Flawless Full Coverage Concealer. It says it's full coverage, but I don't know if it is. I don't see the difference. But it does make my dark circles lighter. But does it cover them? No. And I honestly feel like I've given up on the idea that a concealer will cover my dark circles because that isn't. <laughs> It's never gonna happen. I've tried everything. And yeah. Also, if you're wondering, uh, girl, where's your primer? Where's your foundation? I never, I don't use foundation at all because I don't know. I just do not like the feel of it. I haven't really found a concealer. I mean, a foundation that I really like. And also, I reapply my sunscreen a lot, so I don't know how to figure that out. Like, do I put on foundation again? No. I'm gonna fill in my brows. Yeah, a lot of people ask me, what is your favorite step in a makeup routine? And it is my brows. I cannot leave the house without doing my eyebrow. I'd rather, I'd rather go out without any makeup. I mean, I would go out without any makeup but brows. Like, I, I would go out and I feel so anxious if I don't have my brows on, but. I don't mind if I don't have anything on, but my brows are done, so call me insecure, but 
I just I just prefer my brows being done as well. I think I'll show you guys how I do my brows one day. Not that it's any great, but maybe it can give you all an idea as to how to do your brows if you're new. Also, if any of you are wondering um, what brow pencil I'm using, it is Miniso. Miniso has like it has, they have really good brow products, and I feel like I buy really cheap brow products because I run out of them so quickly. The most expensive brow product I have is my Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus. That was like 2,000 bucks. Ooh, I rarely use it. <laughs> and the Glossy Boy Brow. So the reason why I wanted to start this YouTube account is because I've always wanted to do YouTube. And now that I've learned a little bit from editing my IGTVs, how to edit and how to make videos, I thought I'd jump into YouTube. I know it's not the same, but <sighs> yeah. my brows are done. I tried to get them as even as possible, but it's really hard because your brows are not twins, you know? They just I just do not got faith and I'm gonna move on to like a bronzer or blush thing. So I use, I really 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 love um, blushes that are on the brown side because I don't know, I feel like they suit me more better. So this one is Nude Sticks All Over Face Color in Deep Maple A. I've used this a lot in my IGTV so if you're coming from there you'll know what this is. This is my favorite, 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 like bronzer slash blush. So I'm using my Real Techniques 407 brush. It's the only expensive brush I have. Probably the only brush I have as well. What else do we do now? Oh, lips. So for my lips, I'm, I always, this is what I do every time I go to college. I just wear a lip tint and on top of that I layer my lip balm. So the lip tint I'm using is some wine lip tint that I got from the Korean store. I'm just going to draw a line down the center because it makes, I have really small lips. So this gives me an illusion of a bigger lip. I don't know how to explain to you guys, but I hope you can see it. So this is basically what you guys will see from now on on my YouTube. Uh, hopefully this is something you're in for. Also this is my own lip balm. I'm going to be applying this on top of my lip tint. Not to toot my own horn, but I love my lip balm. It's like the one I make by myself. I will be selling them soon, so. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to use mascara. And this is like my last step. I don't do highlighter anymore because I sweat throughout the day and it makes me look way too shiny. In summer, you don't need highlighter, you know, you just need to have good skin and sweat. That's it. Almost to be doing makeup stuff and skincare stuff. So if that's what you're interested in, then remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.